Once again, it's on. It's your boy Vic XL. This is Ryan Dirty Radio Show, where we bridge the gap between hip hop and everyday life, bring you what's new and next right now. All right. One time for my man Clay Cofinesse on the check in. One time for my man DJ Goldfinger and everybody out there on the check in. Hola to my Mexican massive, my man Carlos on the check in. All right. We got an exciting show today. Before we get into the show, you know, I always got to let you know what's right and what's good. With these amazing sponsor vials. One time for our sponsor, Dr. Juice Cleanse. Dr. Juice Cleanse is an all-natural cleanser that brings it brings you know what? I'm, it brings amazing value to your life. Dr. Juice Cleanse does all kind of amazing things like slow down the aging process. It also helps remove mucus and toxins from your body as well as help provide a balanced pH system for your body. It helps you lose up to 25 pounds in 10 days. It helps eliminate stress. This product does so many amazing things for your body. I encourage you, I strongly encourage you, I strongly, strongly encourage you to visit www.drjuicecleanse.com. Okay? Visit www.drjuicecleanse.com. Find out more about this amazing product and what it can do for you and start feeling better once you place the order. Now, once you go place the order, you find out all the good information, all the good news, and you place the order, please let them know that Vic XL and the Ryan Dirty Show sent you, and you will receive a nice, nice discount to put you in the game. Remember, that's drjuicecleanse.com, all natural cleanser to help you start living healthier and losing weight, all right? Also, gotta say one time to our sponsor, WMR Music Group. WMR Music Group, they are a marketing, branding, and promotion company that will help any artist get their music to the next level. If you have a hot new single, you're trying to get your single into the hands of some of the hottest DJs in the country, they can help you do that. If you have one of the dopest, sickest videos and you're trying to get it on some of the major video sites or major video channels, they can help you do that. Um, if you're trying to get your story told by being in front of some of the dopest interviewers in the world, they can help you do that. Make sure you visit WMRmedia.com. Tell WMR Music Group you say, what's up and find out about their six-month artist development program and how they can help you get into the game. Man, I got to say one time for one of my player partners, man, me and him go back like you go car seats. I got to say one time for my man, E of ENJ Promotions, definitely doing his thing in the ATL at Club LaCour. Um, if you're ever in the ATL, if you're ever in the ATL, because I know this show is listened to all across the world, if you're ever in the ATL, make sure you look up my man E, E and J Entertainment at Club LaCour. What up, big dude? All right, now back to what we're talking about. All right, today is Wednesday, Tuesday. Damn, today is Tuesday, January 22nd, and I got quite a few birthdays, so I definitely want to definitely get them out the way. I got to say happy birthday to my man Stiletto. Y'all might remember me had this song, Watch Me Whip, and Why Me Nay Nay, and Why Me Whip, Whip, and Why Me Nay Nay. My man Stiletto turns 20 years old today. I also got to say happy birthday to Def Jam Recording Artist, my man Logic. He turns 28 years old today. I got to say happy birthday to what I consider banned, former NFL player, my man Ray Rice, turns 31 years old today. Got to say happy birthday to, happy birthday and RIP to the legendary Sam Cooke. Also got to say happy birthday and RIP to the legendary mother of Tupac Shakur, Miss Afeni Shakur. And I got to say happy birthday to who I consider the greatest DJ, the greatest DJ ever in the world. To me, I got to say happy birthday to my man DJ Jazzy Jeff, 
Jazzy Jeff turns 53 years old today. And you might not know it, but that Jazzy Jeff out of Philly invented the the um the scratch. He can eat the transistor scratch. All right. So happy birthday, my man, Jazzy Jeff. And if you don't know, Jazzy Jeff used to be with the Fresh Prince before he became Will Smith. Actually, it was Will Smith, but it was DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. So definitely, definitely happy birthday to my man, Jazzy Jeff, who turns 53 years old today. All right, now I'm going to switch over here and say what's up to my Facebook family and friends who definitely have birthdays going on today. I got to say happy birthday to my man, David Freeman, a.k.a. Fort Knox, one of the dopest, if not the dopest, hosts in the city of the A. I got to say happy birthday to my man, Fort Knox. You might know Fort Knox because he's one of the most animated cats in this city. You might know him for being heavy, 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 but definitely happy birthday to my man, Fort Knox, Mr. David Freeman. Happy birthday to you, sir. Hopefully you're definitely, definitely doing your thing and living your best life. Definitely, definitely living it up, man. Happy birthday, Fort Knox. All right? Also got to say happy birthday to, hold on, my, my joint is moving slow here. Got to say happy birthday to very, very, very dope artist out of the city of the A. My man, Will Hen. Gotta say happy birthday to him. He's experiencing his birthday today. As well as, I got to say happy birthday to very dope independent artist out of the A. My man, Ray Money. So, happy birthday to everybody on my list. You know, I always encourage you, if you have the opportunity, if you have the opportunity, please, 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 Visit these artists' pages, their social media pages. Friend them. Let them know that you're checking them out. Or uh, check out their music, man. That's that's definitely a huge birthday gift if you check out an artist's music. They definitely, definitely will appreciate that more than you could possibly imagine. Again, happy birthday to everybody celebrating birthdays today. And again, man, happy birthday to everybody who continues to check in on Facebook, man. I love you guys. Y'all could be doing anything else in the middle of the day, but you're checking out the show, and I appreciate that. All right, now, gonna flip, switch over real quick to a little celebrity news. Uh, Y'all know my man Soldier Boy has been on a major, major, major you owe him, you owe him run recently, and um, Soldier Boy now has this 6 9 who he said was his son, but now he has a song called Bitch 9. So, you know, I don't know if Soldier Boy should be picking on 6 9 when he's in jail, but I don't know, Soldier Boy. Chill out, man. Soldier Boy says everybody in the industry owes him for, um, he says Drake stole his style. He says, um, Drake, he taught Drake everything he know. Uh, Soulja Boy's definitely, definitely been on some type of meltdown. or I think he's it's the ultimate trolling. But he has a brand new joint. Y'all can check it out. It's called Bitch 9. And he's going after incarcerated rapper 6 9 who we say definitely is his son. So, I don't know. Um, I got to say, man, man, this is bad news. My man Chris Brown has been detained in Paris and charged with um, an alleged rape. So, we're going to cross our fingers. Hopefully, that's not true because it's been said that this female was seen with Chris Brown for three days together. And now she's saying he raped her. So, hopefully, Chris Brown will um, definitely come out on the top of that thing. Also, um, rapper PNB Rock has been held, is being held with for a $500,000 bond over stolen guns and a large amounts of weed. <sighs> Man. All I can say is you rappers, you rappers, you rappers, you rappers. Y'all, I, I really don't understand why you guys work so hard to get into the entertainment business just to keep doing the finest things you were doing before you got in the entertainment business. I don't know if this is a case of keeping the real going wrong I, I don't know what the hell it is, but I know me. If I was PNB Rock, who scored one of the biggest songs in 2018, um, if I was Chris Brown, um, I would try to I would do my damnedest to be trying to fly straight because jail would definitely not be an option after um, I've, I've 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 made it. I've got to say, man, there's a little beef brewing between my man Young Buck and Fifty Cent. Seems like that at it again after they patched up. I mean, it seems like Young Buck leaked a song. Um, with 50 Cent vocals on it from 2012, and 50 Cent served him with a cease and desist and a defamation of character. God damn, 50. 
hard as you go at people, and you're going to hit Young Buck with a cease and desist. Now, I understand the cease and desist if you didn't want Young Buck releasing some material from 2012. I get that, but a defamation of character? Damn, 50. Uh, you done probably defamated plenty of people's characters. But, you know, if you visit Young Buck's um, Instagram, you can see him ranting and raving about my man 50 Cent. So, all right. That's it for hip-hop news. I have gave y'all celebrity birthdays as well as told you about our amazing sponsors. Now it's time for me to give you guys what I enjoy giving you most, and that's a chance to speak with the people that are definitely doing their thing when it comes to the community, the streets, whether uh, it's entertainment, arts, authorism, whatever the case may be. And today is no different than any other day on the Ryan Dirty Show. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Ryan Dirty Show, Mr. A1 Buddha. What's going on, my G? How you doing? How you doing? I appreciate being on your show, man. Man, I appreciate you being here. Let's start this thing off by letting the people know where A1 Buddha is from and what made you get into the music game. Well, I'm really, I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland, but I grew up in um, Broward County, Florida. Um, I've been, I've been rapping since I was younger. You know, um, my first show was at my fifth grade graduation. And ever since then, I've been writing, writing, and I just started making beats about three years ago, and I've been making beats for myself and hopping on my own beats. Okay, now I gotta ask, what took you from Maryland to Florida? That's a big distance. Yeah, I was getting in trouble, so my mama, she kicked me out three times, but the third time, she just moved me down to Broward County with my uncle, because I was just, you know, I was, um, I was running reckless then. So... I got to ask, man, at a young age, what was causing you to get in so much trouble? Um, I was always like the trouble child. Like, since I was younger, I've always been getting in trouble ever since I was younger. But then I, I started getting to the streets because um, I think for me, it was like she was giving more attention to my um, to my siblings. And I, I just, I guess I needed I needed that um, that attention. All right. Now, what is you and your mother's relationship like now? Oh, we great now. We great now. I think the distance made it made it better because we used to always bump heads when I was there. But when I moved, it was like we got a better connection with each other. All right. Now, what are the cultural differences between Maryland and, and, and Florida? Uh, it's a big it's a big difference. <laughs> like, it's more country down here. But I got used to it because I've been down here for seven years. So, um... I got used to it. The cultural difference um, in Baltimore is really, is really um, city like, like real city like. A lot of vacant homes and stuff like that. But when I came down here, I seen a different side of the world. You know, up there, I don't see, I don't see people riding in Rolls Royces and Bentleys and all that. When I came down here, I seen it, so I was like, oh yeah, I can get that too. All right, now at, you said your first performance was at your fifth grade uh, graduation. What made you even want to yeah. be in the music business? What made you realize that you can actually rap? I don't know. Um, I think I, I think I can say that was like my starter point where where I feel like I could I could start rapping. But I've been writing since I was younger. Like I I listened to Lil Wayne or or something on the radio, and I just write their lyrics down to see how they to see how they rapped and everything like that to get the rhythm and all that. And that's when, that's when, but um, four months ago, when I dropped, I dropped my first music video, it got a good reaction. And I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I can really do this. A lot of people are like, you might as well rap. Cause I, at first I was just like, I'm just a producer. I'm just producing. I was just selling beats and stuff. But pe when I hopped on my own beat, people was like, oh yeah, you can rap. You might as well just start rapping. I was like, all right, I'm gonna just do it then. All right. Now tell me who are some of the people that influence you? Um, I could say, uh, Lil Boosie, Lil Wayne, um, Yo Gotti, um, oh man, um, I think, I think that's about, that, that was like, that's like my top artist that I, that I can always go back to and listen to. All right, now, when you think about yourself, first of all, what do you prefer, producing or being behind the microphone? Do you like being behind the boards or do you like being behind the mic? <laughs> um, I, I like I like making beats because I I play the piano, so I like I like doing that. So I think I think producing, but I can I can rap also. You know, I like I, I like to put words together. 
All right, but if you got you prefer which one of the two, which would it be? Uh, producing. All right. Now, when people get a chance to see you perform, since you like being behind the board, when you hit the stage, what is a A1 Buddha performance like? Oh, uh, man, the energy is crazy. The energy be crazy. Um, I just like it. Well, my first performance, like, I did, what, last month, I was kind of nervous because I'm like, this is my first time doing it again since I was younger. It was, I was kind of nervous, but they gave me such a good reaction where I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, this energy crazy. I can keep doing this. All right. Now, when you think about the music industry today and you making beats, is there one particular mm-hmm. artist you would love to give a beat to? Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like, I like, um... I like Future. Yeah, I, I get Future a beat. All right, that's definitely, definitely dope. Definitely dope. Now, if it's artists that you could collab with on a track, who are some of the artists you would like to collab with on the track? Oh, man. I would say all of them. <laughs> but if I got to choose one, um, uh, right now, I like Lil Baby, too, out of Atlanta. I like Lil, I, I collab with Lil Baby. All right. Now, being in Florida, the Miami, Florida sound is very different than any other sound across the United States. Um, Does your sound represent the Florida sound or is your sound more universal? Or what can we expect when we hear music by A1 Buddha? I think it's a mixture of both, you know, like, because... Like, my lyrics is more like what I've been through when I was um, in Baltimore, but my sound is, is like, it's Miami, Florida type of sound. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a mixture of both. All right, all right. I can dig that. I can dig that. In five years, what would you like to see your musical career? Oh, by then I'll be having, like, multi-platinum records and doing big big deals and putting other artists on too, other producers and stuff like that. I would like to see other people shining too. So when I make it big within five years, I'm going um, to have like my own record label and put another artist on so they can, they can get a chance in the music business. All right. All right. I definitely, definitely, that's definitely what's up. Now, as an artist and being an independent artist, and I know being an independent artist is very, very hard and challenging. What have been some of the major challenges you face being an independent artist? I would say just promoting it. Like some people, some people don't like to get new artist chances or indie artist chances. So it's like the promotion part is kind of hard. So I like what I do. Soon as I drop something, I send it to everybody in my contact list. Everybody. I'm talking about like my um my mixtape just dropped um on my birthday on January 14th. I sent it to everybody, but that whole week, I was just sending it to everybody again and again and again. People were like, dang, can you stop sending this to me? <laughs> so so I, I think the promotion part is the hardest. All right, you dropped a mixtape on your birthday. What was the name of the mixtape, and why did you decide to drop it on your birthday? Um, It's called The Mind of Buddha, and I dropped it on my birthday because, um, I don't know, it's like a gift to myself. It was like a gift to myself and... I played it towards it being like um, a promotion, a promotion scheme, where it's like, all right, everybody knows it's my birthday, so how about you just check out my mixtape because it's my birthday. You get what I'm saying? All right, all right. That's, so what was the response to the mixtape? Oh, it's going crazy right now. Like, I got, I, got, I got shows booked up all this weekend. Man, it's going crazy right now. Like the first, the first three days, I got 1.2k streams. So, so I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. Cause, all right. Cause, I really came from nothing. So it's like, just to see that many streams, I feel, I feel good. Cause I feel like I'm accomplishing something. I oh, mean, that's dope. Those are good numbers. Those are major numbers, especially to be an independent artist. Those are good numbers. Those are definitely good numbers. All right, the na- you named it the Mind of Buddha. Why did you pick that name? And I, also, why the name A1 Buddha? Tell me a little bit about that name. Why did you pick that name for a moniker? 
Okay, uh, which one you want me to start for first, the mixtape or my name? Let's go with your name first. Okay, A1 Buddha. A1, you know, that's like um, top echelon or, you know, the top of something. And Buddha, I got that because I was with this girl one day. It's a crazy story. I was with this girl one day, and when I was I was over her house. And her friend came over, and she was like, um, she's like, who is this? She said, that's my boo, duh. So that's when I just, I was just thinking, I'm like, man, I might as well tell her my name is Buddha. You feel me? Because she said, boo, duh. And, and that's when I thought, Buddha is, you know, Buddhism and stuff like that. It means wisdom and um, everlasting life and stuff like that. So I'm like, man, I might as well stick to this name, but I'm not going to spell it the same way as Buddha. I'm going I'm to change the B-O-O-D-A. Instead of B-U-D-D-H-A. And then the mind of Buddha, I came up with that because I was at the state. I was just like, I was like, what should I name it? What should I name it? I said, I might as well call it the mind of Buddha. And then I'm going to make a sequel in, a, um, um, in, a, in another one. It's going to be called The Heart of Buddha and The Soul of Buddha. It's coming soon. But that's just giving you, you the insight of myself. All right. All right. When can we expect that next mixtape? Um, I'm expecting it around like April, April 11th. I'm, I'm reaching for that date. All right. All right. Any particular reason why you pick April the 11th? April 11th. Um, not really. It was just, it's just my birthday backwards. So I was like, I might as well drop it that day. All right. All right. Hey, that's that's very unique though. That's very unique. Um, <laughs> at this point in your career getting the streams, um, your video doing well. Like, what do you feel like the highest peak that you've hit right now? Like, if your career stopped today, what have you accomplished that you're most proud of? Um, I would say starting. Just starting, because a lot of people, I know a lot of people who be rapping, and they be um, um, contemplating. They don't be wanting to drop no music, or, or they don't want to... Um, they don't want to, they keep pushing back their date on their um, um, mixtapes and stuff. So I think starting, starting is, starting is, um, was the big, was the big step in my career because a lot of people don't start. A lot of people would be scared to just go out there and do it. So I think, I think that's the, I think that's the biggest thing. All right. That's definitely what's up. All right. If I'm listening to the mixtape, The Mind of Buddha. And I'm on a date. Mm -hmm. I'm on a date. Um, I just picked up my female for my mm -hmm. date. What song shall I be playing in the background off of the mind of Buddha? Oh, Candy. Candy for sure. All right. <laughs> candy right there. I just... <laughs> yeah, that, that was for the ladies right there. All right, now. I'm going to pick my date up when I had an amazing night, amazing dinner, and I'm about to smash. I'm about to go in. What song do I need playing in the background yeah. off of Mind of Buddha? I think you you got to still go with Candy because I, I was talking nasty in that one. I was, you know, I was I was talking about how she tastes like candy. So yeah, you got you got you got to play that one. All right, <laughs> all right. So I got to put Candy on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> all right. At this point in your career, because I know, man, it's some living in Florida has to be amazing. Um, at this point in your life. What has been the best ten dollars you can recall ever spending, and what did you spend it on? Uh, best ten dollars. Um, I would say on like a VST or something like like something that that I did for music. Um, yeah, some it's probably something I did for music because everything else I did with ten dollars was just you know fucking it off or um. Buying, buying some weed or buying something to eat or something like that. So right. I think it was it was something for music. All right. Now, a lot of times, a lot of people feel as if rappers have very little to say, especially independent artists. Um, I got to ask, and I'm just a little political. Just a little political. How do you feel about the government mm -hmm. shutdown? How do you feel about the government shutdown and what's going on right now? Oh, man, I think, I think, um... I think this one caused a lot of trouble, especially in the black community. I see like we can't get like taxes back or like um, WIC, 
and stuff like that. So that's gonna cause a lot of trouble. Like we we at the bottom right now. So it's like if we can't get that government assistance, guess what we gonna go do? We gonna go rob and stuff like that. So it's gonna be more of us in jail. So I don't really I don't really like that idea with Trump doing. All right, now, all right. Now, how has social media affected your career at this point? Oh, this is a it's a um. It was a, it's a big difference because I guess every every artist needed nowadays. Like nobody nobody going and um nobody got a CD playing their car, so you can't hand out CDs no more. You got to do all your promotion. You got to do all your pr promotion online on social media and stuff like that. All right, all right. And speaking of social media, how can people find you? Whether it's the World Wide Web, social media, let everybody know everywhere they can possibly find a one Buddha. Okay, you can find me on YouTube at A One Buddha, um, Instagram A One Dot Buddha, and it's spelled B O O D A. Um, Twitter is A One Buddha also. All right, now we're about to drop this record I D A I D G A F. I don't give a fuck. Let me know a little bit about the record before yeah. we drop it. Oh, that record came about because I was man. I just felt at that point I was like I don't I don't care I don't I don't give a fuck no more so I just made that record and it's a good record too it got a little vibe to it. All right, so do me one big favor, close out the show by introducing that record. Ninety seconds. Man, it's your boy A One Buddha and we better play I don't give a fuck off my new mixtape the Minor Buddha. Y'all tune in. Appreciate it, my G. All right, thank you also. I appreciate it. show yours truly Vic XL man and y'all make sure y'all check us out in the morning in the a.m. thank you for bringing y'all the next exciting Goodbye. edition of the duel yeah